Good afternoon. And welcome to our celebration as we gather to praise God for the gift of his mercy. His mercy is illustrated for us in the gospel as Jesus touches the heart of Zacchaeus. Tonight's Mass is being offered for Ron Mormon, and tomorrow we remember and pray for Dennis Schwering. Our sanctuary light will burn in memory of Lawrence and Lillian Lustig. A reminder to you that All Saints Day is a holy day of obligation, and it is on November the 1st. Mass for that feast will be on the day itself at 6 p.m. We will have a brief cemetery service tomorrow following the uh, 10 o'clock Mass, so 11.15 in our cemetery. Also a reminder that blood pressure checks will be offered next week and our little pickpockets will be here next weekend collecting your change. You might see on your calendar that the hall is rented next Saturday, but for this rental, we will uh, view, uh, show the mass in the hall so people can go to the hall. There is a special collection today for the Bishop's Disaster Relief Fund, and because there are no envelopes for that, a second collection will be taken up following the gifts. Do read the bulletin for all other information, but please ignore the notice on blessing of throats. That's in February and not November. I think I was having a senior moment. <laughs> we now remember and pray for our deceased parishioners. Our loved one's presence is near to us and their love never ceases. And if they could speak to us now, they would want most of all to assure us of their immense peace and their desire for our happiness. As we recall the Feast of All Souls Day, we now pray for those parishioners who have died this year and pray that they are enjoying the eternal embrace of God. Please join in singing the refrain to I am the bread of life after their names are called and the date that they enter eternal life. Dolores Wagner, November the 9th, 2021. Francis Vodder, December 18th, 2021. Craig Simon, March the 8th, 2022. And I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. Jean Simon, May the 1st, 2022. Lynn Herbert, May 13th. 2022, Debbie Buttes, June the 23rd, 2022. And I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will Amelia Walter, July 17th, 2022, and Mary Gillen, October the 9th, 2022. And I will raise grateful for the gift of these loved ones symbolized in the candles before the lectern, candles that have, have been touched by the light of the resurrected Christ. May these candles and the Feast of All Souls Day be for each of us a reminder of the eternal celebration we will participate in with our loved ones in heaven. Amen. And we invite the 
families of the deceased to come forward after the closing song of today's Mass to receive their candle and rose. And now let us rise. The opening, the opening hymn can be found in the music book, I Am the Bread of Life, number 326, singing verses 1 and 4. under the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us always. Indeed, our, the Lord will raise up our spirit to be with our body on that last day. But until that time, the Lord is always here to raise our spirits that indeed we may understand his great love that guides our lives. As we open our prayer, let us remind ourselves that he is here with us always. Lord Jesus, you came to lead us to the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, give us the strength to show each other that way. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, fill us with your life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
us pray. Almighty, eternal God, through your gift, we offer you our lives, that indeed we may know that your light, gift of life is with us forever. Grant that we may hasten in this life without stumbling to receive all the things you promise. But we ask this through our Lord Jesus, who lives one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Before the Lord, the whole universe is as a grain from a balance or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all because you can do all things, and you overlook people's sins that they may repent. For you love all things that are and loathe nothing that you have made. For what you hated, you would not have fashioned. And how could a thing remain unless you willed it, or be preserved had it not been called forth by you? But you spare all things because they are yours, O Lord and lover of souls, for your imperishable spirit is in all things. Therefore, you rebuke offenders little by little, warn them and remind them of the sins they are committing, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name. give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, <coughs> my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith. That the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly or to be alarmed, either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see Jesus because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So Zacchaeus ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When, Zacchae when Jesus reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And so Zacchaeus came down quickly and received Jesus with great joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, Half my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. I must stay at your house. These words are from our Gospel this evening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm sure you've heard that little saying, it's hard to see the forest for all of the trees. But we're in the middle of the forest and all we see is this tree and that tree and that tree. It's hard to envision what the whole forest might look like. Well, Zacchaeus had kind of a similar problem today. It said that Zacchaeus was short in stature and I can sure relate to that. He was short in stature. And Jesus was coming through the town, and Jesus was not going to stay anywhere. He was just going to pass on through. But things were going to be different. For Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. Something about Jesus. Maybe he heard something about Jesus. Maybe he heard some of his teachings people were talking about. But something was drawing him to Jesus. Well, Jesus always had a big crowd around him. And I can remember when I was a little kid, even little than I am now, you know, and the parents would bring all of us to church, and I would kind of hope that they would sit more toward up front so I could see what was going on. You know, little kids, they have a tough time, you know, they try to look and see what, you know, was going up ahead there. And, Pretty soon, maybe they give up because they can't really see. So, all you parents with the little kids, don't hesitate to sit up close, you know, so they can kind of see what's going on. Well, Zacchaeus wanted to see what was going on. He wanted to see Jesus. Well, Zacchaeus, you might say, was in these for in this big old forest, but this was a forest where the trees weren't standing still. They were moving around, pushing and shoving, kind of like our lives at times. 
all the things that are going on, all the people that are trying to convince us about their opinion or, or move us in this direction or that direction, and they're right, and we got to follow them and push, 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 push. Everybody's pushing us around all kinds of places. Not to mention all the things of our own lives that seem to push us all over the place. Kind of hard to know what, what direction to go in. Because we got not only these trees around us, but we got some moving trees pushing us, trying to push us. Well, Zacchaeus was going to see Jesus no matter what. And so Zacchaeus climbed a tree so he could get above all of this, so that he could see a direction, a good direction to go. A direction that God has determined that all of us should be living. A God who provides for all that we might need, no matter who's pushing and shoving us in whatever direction. No, God is going to provide my direction. And so I always know which way to go if I can just get above all that and take a look at Jesus again. Jesus is teaching about loving God, loving our neighbor, being a peacemaker, being someone who cares about the needs of others. This will help us to see, hopefully, the direction of our lives. You know, when Zacchaeus is up in that tree and he's looking down for Jesus, Jesus always has a big crowd around him. Well, somehow or another, Jesus spied him up in the tree. You see, Jesus wasn't going to disappoint anybody. So he was passing through. Well, not anymore. Somebody needs me. And so Jesus told him, come on down to there, Zacchaeus. I'm staying at your place today. You know, kind of a little reminder here about what place did Jesus have to stay when he was born? Joseph and Mary couldn't find a place to stay at all. This is nobody really cared. Well, Jesus cares. And he was going to stay in Zacchaeus' place. And of course, Jesus always has another meaning to where you live. You live with your spirit. And Jesus is going to be with your spirit, guiding you, showing you a way in life that indeed we can see way beyond all the events going on around us, all the things that are trying to push us in this way and that way, and how confusing it can be, and what do I do? Well, Jesus, wants to stay with us because it's the house that our spirit lives, our bodies. Well, sad to say, there's always those people around making the judgments. And tax collectors were notorious. They were hated by the Jews. They were people who extorted and cheated them forcing them to pay more taxes and more than they were supposed to. They could get away with it. If they had some convenient Roman soldiers around, they could force them to pay anything they wanted. Well, here people start talking. Oh, did Jesus know who he's with? Well, Jesus would say, I've come to be with these kind of people. I've come to show them a better way. I've come to take them out of that forest that they're living in right now and show them God's way, which Zacchaeus latches on to right away. He says, I'm not going to defraud anybody. I'm not going to cheat anybody. I'm going to pay them back even many more times if I cheated them in any way. My life is going to be different because now I see which direction to go. That's why Jesus says, salvation has come to this place. Here is someone who understands 
what the people of God, well, Jesus calls people of Abraham, what the people of God should be doing and living. Let us pray that always, no matter what is going on around us, we can get above it all and see which way to go because Jesus is staying in our house. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us now stand as once again we profess our beliefs. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us, men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Again, we bring our needs to our Father in heaven. For the gift of joy, that we may rejoice as we experience Jesus with us on our life journey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who seek elected office in our democracy, that they serve with humility and integrity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those seeking salvation in wealth and material things, that they find it rather in Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families, that they find comfort in their home and power in the prayer they share, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the ill, that God will bring healing to them and strength to all who serve their needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, particularly our parish members who died this past year, that God will welcome them into his eternal banquet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for their families, may they eventually find joy in the memories of their loved ones they have lost, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Ron Mormon, Dennis Schwering, for whom our masses are being offered, and for our personal intentions. <coughs> We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, help us to raise our lives to you, seeing your direction always, to, that you may guide us to everlasting life forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The offertory hymn can be found in the music book, number 503, We Remember.
Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, the good of all this holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a true gift of goodness for each of us. We pray that it may be a outpouring of your unending mercy. For we ask this through our Lord Jesus, who lives one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that always, everywhere we give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, for you have laid the very foundations of our world and have arranged for changing of times and seasons. You have formed each of us in your own image, setting us over your world with all its wonder. And so we praise you for all that you have done for us as we join in the angels and saints praising you as we sing. with each of us on our journey of life. Blessed indeed is Jesus, for he is present with us again, for we are gathered by his love. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send your spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body, the blood of Jesus Christ. For on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread and said a blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> We celebrate this memorial of Jesus Christ, whom, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of his resurrection, and whom you have now seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love for all of us until Jesus comes again. 
Look with favor on the sacrifice of your church in which we once again see the very sacrifice of Jesus for us all. Grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of Jesus. By our partaking of this holy mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of Jesus. Confirm us in this bond of communion together with Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, and all of your people. Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the signs of these times by the light of our faith, may constantly devote ourselves to following the way of Jesus. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring everyone the good news of the coming of Jesus. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you have known. Admit their spirit this day to rejoice in the light of your face. And in the resurrection of our bodies at the end of time, give us all the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly time is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place to live with you forever. For there, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her loving spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, St. Maurice, and all of the saints, together we shall praise and exalt you, surrounded by the light of your eternal love forever. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever and ever. again our Father who provides for us, especially in sending Jesus, let us pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from every distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming again of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of all in your church. Graciously grant to each of us peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Always at peace with the coming of Jesus. Let's share some of that with one another.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion hymn can be found in the music book, number 561, 10,000 Reasons. Sing like never before, oh my 
Let us pray. May the working of your divine power, O Lord, increase within each of us, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments that we have shared, that we all may be prepared for the many gifts that they promise us all. For we ask this in the name of Jesus, who lives one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. The closing hymn can be found in the music book 594, Shall We Gather at the River.